Venom is crash landing his way into Regal Cinemas on October 4th, and he'll be bringing some friends along with him. The long-awaited solo movie for the iconic Spider-Man villain will see Tom Hardy's Eddie Brock consumed by the infamous alien symbiote and turned into a violent anti-hero. But Venom isn't the only symbiote in this story. The movie is based upon the Lethal Protectors comic series from the 1990s, which saw Venom take on the nefarious Life Foundation and even more villainous five symbiotes. From the trailers, it looks like most, if not all, of this bad guy group will be coming to the screen in director Ruben Fleischer's Spider-Man spinoff. Here's everything we know. Venom Obviously, the main symbiote in Venom is, well, Venom. Attaching himself to Eddie Brock, he and the journalist fight for control before eventually declaring, we are Venom. Venom's origin has been altered slightly from the comics due to the lack of Spider-Man in the film, which may also lead to a different look and powers. Venom doesn't have the spider emblem on his chest and presumably won't shoot webs. Riot. Riot is Venom's main villain, one of the five symbiotes who seems to have a real hatred of Eddie's new friend. Embracing a blue color in the comics, Riot has been given a silver makeover for his big screen debut. From the trailers, we can see this symbiote attached to Carlton Drake, the head of the Life Foundation played by Riz Ahmed. If it's anything like the comics though, he may find another host. Scream. The alien symbiotes come from a crashed spaceship and immediately start causing chaos. The Venom trailer shows a medical worker from the crash site taken as a host by a symbiote that forms blades and fires spikes from her back. This is Donna Diego, played by Michelle Lee, who in the comics serves as the host for the symbiote, Scream. She's later seen attacking Eddie, making her likely key to him becoming Venom. Phage. In the film, several alien symbiotes are acquired from the crash site by Carlton Drake, including one with a deep yellow coloring. This color matches best with another member of the five symbiotes, Phage. What role Phage will play in Venom, if any, is unclear, but he's had a long comic history, including even taking control of Deadpool at one point. Toxin. Toxin isn't one of the five symbiotes in the comics, rather an independent alien creature, but there's evidence he too will play a small part in Venom. In the trailers, one of the Life Foundation's experiments is conducted on a character played by Reed Scott, rumored to play the role of Patrick Mulligan. Mulligan is the human host for Toxin, a super powerful symbiote that at one point merged with Eddie himself. Carnage. Finally, there's Venom's arch enemy, Carnage. In the comics, an offspring of Venom that attached itself to serial killer Cletus Cassidy. Carnage is like Venom turned up to 11, totally evil and nearly unstoppable. Woody Harrelson is rumored to have a cameo in Venom as inmate Cassidy, although the details are a closely held secret. It's likely that this is setting up a full on appearance from Carnage in Venom 2. Venom is set to kick off a whole shared universe of films based on Spider-Man villains, with films for Morbius, played by Jared Leto, Silver Sable, Black Cat, and Kraven the Hunter all in the works. But before we get to them, Venom evidently has his work cut out dealing with his own kind. See Sony's Marvel Universe begin in Regal Cinemas this October.